Drop what you're doing right now and go watch X-Men 97. I'm not joking. There isn't an excuse in the world good enough for you not to be watching this show. Not only is this the best thing Marvel Studios has produced since Endgame, it's the best show they've ever made by Country Mile. That's if Daredevil doesn't count. Daredevil is always on top. But X-Men 97 is absolutely brilliant. Not only is this a fantastic continuation of a show that I've loved since I was a kid, but it stands on its own as one of the most faithful adaptations of the best team Marvel has to offer. This ends up creating one of the most powerful and engaging seasons of television we've gotten in the the last few years full stop. And that's why I'm making this video because I want more people to watch this show and love it just as much as I did. So without further ado, this is why you need to watch X-Men 97. First off, let's address what this show is for people that are confused about it. X-Men 97 is a continuation of the original 90s X-Men show that ran for five seasons. So this picks up where that show ended and continues on with that story. Now I'm biased. I'm someone who has seen every episode of the original show when I was a kid. My mom grew up with this show when she was a kid in the 90s and then she ended up passing it on to me when I was growing up. So X-Men 97 is tailor-made for me and I understand that, but I'm going to say this as someone who loves that original show. You don't need to watch the 90s show to be able to enjoy X-Men 97. Here's why. X-Men 97 isn't season 6 of that show, if that makes sense. This show clearly understands this is a jumping on point for people that haven't seen the show before just want to hop into X-Men. So don't worry, yeah there's going to be references to character specific pasts and some episodes from the earlier show, but everything that you need to know that is happening in X-Men 97, the show will give you context for in that episode. So you're never going to be fully lost. If you know who this guy's name is, you're going to be fine, and just go into X-Men 97 blind and you'll get just as much out of it as anyone else. And honestly, you're going to want to jump straight into this show because X-Men 97 is the best show Marvel Studios has ever made, and it's also the the best season of X-Men television ever. So you might as well hop on the bandwagon right now. We're only on season one and we got more seasons on the way. But then you're probably asking, why is this show so good? Well, let's first start off with the clearest improvement this show makes over its 90 predecessor, the animation. This show looks incredible, and I don't think I can do it justice with words. It feels criminal with how good this show looks. The animation is so fluid. The action is incredible. All the designs and 90s flair have been kept intact and improved upon to probably create the best looking season of a modern animated superhero show since, I don't know, when did Superhero Squad come out? This show doesn't even feel possible. I forgot animation could keep this high of quality with a show that's over 10 episodes long. But this show was able to keep my jaw on the floor through the entire runtime, and it was so incredible that it kept one-upping itself with how good it looked. And I was just waiting for that boot to fall where the show would drop off in quality towards the end of the show because they ran out of budget, but it looks incredible. And I just have to give props to the animation team that worked so hard to bring the X-Men to life. But the biggest thing that matters when you're bringing these X-Men to life is the writing. And this is something that surprisingly the original X-Men show did really well. I went back and rewatched some of my favorite episodes from the original show earlier this year, and for a 90s kids show, it holds up pretty well. For its time, it tried to tackle more complex issues while also staying within the limitations of being a kids show, airing on Fox Kids at 9 in the morning. And X-Men 97 completely builds off of what came before and doing a bit more and saying a bit more now that it has an expanded TV-14 rating and is able to more thoroughly explore some of the more thematic and darker stories that the original show wouldn't have been able to tell. The X-Men have always been known for their complexity and how they stand in as parallels for social justice way back when they were introduced in the 60s. And that core complexity and nuance is still here in X-Men 97 and it isn't lost while also being a show that is just so entertaining. Fan favorite villains come back, there's huge twists and turns that I didn't see coming at all, and this is a show that moves at a clip while also allowing our characters and our heroes to breathe and really allow them to show how unique and individual all of the X-Men are. Speaking of which, let's talk about the X-Men themselves. It feels that every X-Man in this show was given their own time to shine. Every character feels absolutely loved and no one was left on the sideline. You just watch them and how detailed they all move and fight and how amazingly individualistic they all seem and how none of them end up getting lost in the shuffle with such a huge cast, it's absolutely amazing. And here's some standout characters I want to note. First off, Cyclops. He has always been my favorite X-Man because I was a Boy Scout growing up, literally, and he gets so much to do here and he's only made more interesting with the complexity of his relationship with Magneto. And everyone's talked about this, but Magneto gets the all-star tree. He's so interesting, and just the little ripple of him being added to the X-Men lineup by the end of episode 1 creates such a unique dynamic for the rest of the season and creates a completely new vibe that you will never be able to put this show down with how much has changed. And all the other X-Men as well are just great. Rogue, Storm, Gambit, Wolverine, Morph. These characters are all so unique and there's moments in this show that I will not spoil that will leave your jaw on the floor. It will make you cheer. This is high blockbuster serialized storytelling with intense and rich dramatic weight to go alongside with it. And 
I have just not seen a show that has been able to walk the line so well of having intense and deep storylines, along with soap opera relationships, while also having the overall story of the season move at a quick, energetic pace to not lose the audience. And that led me to a sense of awe while I was watching this show, because this show is kind of a miracle. X-Men 97 should not be a show that works this well at all. It's a show that appeals to the long-term X-Men fans by being a great continuation of a show they've loved, while also being so incredible on its own that it appeals to a new crowd that can hop right in. There has never been a better time to hop into X-Men and you owe it to yourself to try the show out. I know recently I keep saying this is the best superhero show ever with Daredevil and recently Invincible, but man, X-Men 97 truly is in the top three next to the shows as one of my favorite superhero shows ever made. It is uncanny, it is amazing, and it is spectacular how good this show is, and I just never expected something this personal and so powerful would come out of Marvel Studios after what they've been producing for the last five years. But at the end of the year, there's only one name, one word, and one moment that I promise I won't forget from this show. Because X-Men 97 is special, and you better remember it.